the Velociraptor. Once there was a Velociraptor family. Mummy, Daddy and little Luke. Luke's daddy was strong and brave and everyone looked up to him. But Luke was neither strong nor brave. He was shy and didn't even like to play with the friends of his age. One day, while all the young ones were playing, they started making fun of Luke for being so unlike his father. Upset, he ran away from them. Wandering alone, Luke saw a group of T-Rex moving towards his home. Quickly, Luke rushed in the opposite direction of his home and made loud noises. The T-Rex, confused by the noises, started running in Luke's direction instead. Being little, Luke ran away unnoticed and quickly informed everyone about the danger. Ever since then, nobody made fun of little Luke anymore. They all realized that he was equally special, though he might be different. They all owed their lives to him. Ali learns a lesson. Once there lived an Albertosaurus family, big and strong. Everyone was afraid of them. Ali, youngest of all, thought it was funny to bully others. One day, Ali's father caught him, scaring a little animal. He gave Ali a bad yelling, but Ali yelled back and left the house. Wandering in the forest, he came across a baby dinosaur. He decided to scare her. As soon as he scared the little dinosaur, out came her mother, bigger and stronger than Ali and angrier than he had ever seen anyone. Ali ran for his life, but the angry mother dinosaur followed. Tired, he fell and the angry mother dinosaur caught him. But she did not harm him. Instead, she warned Ali and told him to mend his ways and not to scare anyone. Ali ran back home and apologized to his father. He had learned his lesson. Bullying is a really bad thing. The Uncracked Egg A long time ago, there lived a Megalosaurus family. The small family was about to grow. The mama dinosaur has laid three big eggs and everyone was eagerly waiting for them to hatch. The mama dinosaur never left the nest. She lovingly stroked the eggs and sang melodious songs to them and hoped for her babies to arrive soon. Soon enough, two of the eggs started cracking. Elated, Mama Dinosaur rushed to Papa Dinosaur to share the exciting news. Jumping with joy, they returned to the nest only to be welcomed by the wailings of their two newborns. Though happy, yet the one uncracked egg worried them. Days went by and they started losing hope until one day as they carefully lifted the egg to take it to the dinosaur doctor, it cracked and out came the loudest cry a newborn ever gave, delighting all the dinosaurs around. The Kind T-Rex Once upon a time, there was a T-Rex, Ricky living with his parents in a cave near a lake. Every evening, all the dinosaurs in the forest would come to the lake to drink water. Ricky would rush out the moment he heard others, but each time he approached any of them, they'd run away scared. Whenever others ran away, Ricky would get upset, but he couldn't do anything about it. One day, he went out for a walk. There he saw a young Stegosaurus stuck in a ditch, struggling to escape. Ricky approached to help, but the Stegosaurus shrieked, petrified. Though upset yet, Ricky helped him out using his long tail. Once out, the Stegosaurus couldn't believe a T-Rex saved him. Ricky gave him a warm smile and the young Stegosaurus also smiled back. Ellie and Grandma. Once a family of Brachiosaurus lived in a forest. Other dinosaurs were scared of these giants getting in their homes. So they set traps for them. While on a walk with her grandma, 
Little Ellie came across the small pond. Excited, she wanted to jump right in, but Grandma stopped her and warned, "It could be a trap, Ellie." Disappointed, Ellie went back home, but she couldn't stop thinking about the pond. Before sunrise, Ellie sneaked out. When she reached the pond, she was shocked to see a small micro raptor trapped in it. The pond was indeed a trap, just like Grandma had warned. Crying, Ellie ran back home to get some help. After the rescue, she hugged her grandma and apologized for not listening. Ellie realized that we should respect our elders and always listen to them. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.